Hello, and thank you for joining me. My name is Greg Cummings with VPI. Today I want to take us through a demonstration of our real-time performance analytics. Starting off VPI at a glance, we were founded over 20 years ago by our current CEO, and we've got a reputation for innovation. We're headquartered in sunny Southern California with California-based uh, U.S. research and development. We've got more than 1,000 customers worldwide, and we focus on contact center workforce optimization and analytics. We provide a robust suite of products, everything from call and screen recording to speech and data analytics, quality assurance, workforce management, performance analytics, and coaching and e-learning development. Today, we're focusing on performance analytics. From a recent Gartner CIO study, what contact centers really want today is an understanding of real-time and predictive data rather than just historical data. And also, they want to have a unified view. Oftentimes, most organizations have siloed, fragmented systems, and the ability to bring that data together is what's critical in today's environment. In addition to standard reporting, both business and operational, customer insights that are actionable are critical to help drive decision-making and process optimization. It's looking at what is that oil slick on the top of the surface that we can glean a further insight into and how can we gain that understanding. One of the ways we do that is by looking at the challenge, right? There's a visibility gap that is so common today. We've got our communication systems. We've got our workforce optimization. We've got our servicing apps and HR apps. And all of these are so fragmented and siloed that we need to break down those barriers and really bring that information together. So one of the things that we've taken great uh, strides towards is how do you consolidate that information? How do you kind of close this gap that we see and bring that information into a unified view to really gain additional insight and understanding? What you can see here is what that answer is. This is one of the views that really allows us to start breaking down those barriers and starting to understand when we have siloed systems, how do we bring those together? The example I'm showing on the screen right now is an agent desktop ticker. As you can see, this ticker is bringing in data from our e-learning system, our ACD and our dialer, our homegrown applications and other sources. We're consolidating that information, providing a real-time view for the agent so they can be proactive in driving change, right, and improving the outcomes of the overall business. The ability to create and customize agent desktop tickers will dramatically improve the overall efficiency within the contact center space. We've got multiple views that can be built showing KPIs that are relevant in real time. The idea is let's get away from some of the wallboard views that are so prominent in contact centers today and put more relevant real time information in front of the agents so they can be proactive in driving those outcomes. I'm going to take you into a product demonstration now and actually show you what that looks like. The first thing I want us to focus on is the last bit that I just showed. From a real-time performance data analytics understanding, at the top of my screen, I'm showing you an actual agent desktop ticker. If you take your eyes to the top of this video recording, what you're going to see is my agent desktop ticker. As you can see, I'm logged in as an agent or a representative, and I can also have supervisor views structured the same way. This is my desktop, and my desktop now becomes a powerful tool for understanding how I'm performing and how my team is performing. I can see my telephony statistics, my sales statistics. I can see the workforce management schedule adherence for myself and my team, my monthly QA score. What are current calls in QR for my primary queue? but the ability to also toggle through and tab through these various views, allowing me to look at my calls that are in our workforce uh, scheduled quality evaluations that are in progress, my monthly QA scores, our current CSAT, because again, we're collecting that from one of those siloed systems. What's our QA score? Let me link right into that and review that. Also, what are my Q statistics? Being able to create a one inch high view displaying up to 33 different KPIs becomes a very powerful tool for performance management. When you put this into the hands of the agents, of the supervisors, of the managers, they can really start to be proactive in driving change, right? driving those business outcomes, because that's really what we want to focus on. Now, when we take that view a step further and we start to say, we've looked at that from an agent perspective, but how do we continue to distill that down? One of the ways we do that within the VPI Empower Suite 
is to bring all that data in and present it to you initially in a dashboard. As you can see, what I've got up on my screen right now is a manager dashboard. In the upper left-hand corner, I can see that I've got a widget showing me my total claims processed for this week. My average wait time widget, total service tickets open, what's our current occupancy, total new orders. Being able to create and customize dashboards that give you that level of visibility to where then you can continue to drill down and look at your areas of emphasis. You do that by now continuing to dive a little bit deeper into the data. We've talked about the agent view, which is that desktop ticker. This is a manager supervisor dashboard. Now let me take you into a scorecard. Through our performance management module, which is our focus for today, I'm going to take us first into our My Metrics. I'm a supervisor for my organization. I need to be able to measure my team through a scorecard and see how my organization is performing, right, the group that I have responsibility for. And it needs to be easy to understand. A really important thing is the KISS model, right? We need to be able to keep it simple. By being able to look at this from a supervisor's perspective and see the team that I'm currently responsible for managing, which is my customer service team, I can measure that against particular, right, or KPIs that are important that I hold my team accountable for. Our schedule adherence, our average QA scores, right, our talk times, our handle times, our ACD calls, and then being able to visualize those in graphics that allow me to spot my outliers and being able to change what outlier is currently showing in this particular graphical view really gives you the flexibility to focus and target on what you're trying to improve on. I know that Marcy Black here has a handling time that's almost double the rest of my team. That might be an outlier I need to focus on. Luckily, I know that Marcy recently started with us, so I'm expecting her handle time to be a little bit higher. But if I didn't know that, this would give me an indication of where I need to focus. You can trend these out over time and look at month-over-month -month comparisons and build and customize scorecards that best fit your organization. And being able to easily click and link between the various scorecards allows you to change what KPIs are present in this management and supervisor scorecard view. Now, taking another step a little bit deeper, the ability to utilize what we refer to as reporting dashboards. So in this, or in this environment, what I'm showing you right now is a Cisco UCC Express reports dashboard. We have brought in and collected all the data from a Cisco system and now give you direct links in all to the Cisco UCC Express reports. We've got administrative report views, we've got group and agent reports, you've got your queue reports, and it's all about ease of use. When I select into an ACD call handling report, I want to be able to quickly analyze and understand this data for the teams that I have access to report against. Over on the left-hand side, I can see all of my different team views, and I can see the KPIs listed along the very top with the corresponding metric. Being able to drill down into this data and maybe dig into my team, I can just simply select it, and it takes me down to the next level. We don't want you to have to rerun a report. Also being able to embed charts and graphs is critical as well. When I embed a chart, I can actually spot my outliers from a visual representation. Again, a lot of us are visual learners, so if you are, you need to have that visibility. You can drill directly down to the next level by simply clicking on the chart element or by drilling down by simply selecting any one of the agents that are listed in this agent report view. Now back up to my dashboard, and I can simply select and link in to another report view. I could go into my performance summary, and again, I'm being presented with another set of KPIs, the same report view that I'm used to looking at and being able to understand and analyze that data. So by being able to leverage that report view, being able to look at that information is really critical for your understanding of how your team is performing. So the report views are really robust and really help you to understand that information. Now, taking myself back up to my scorecard view, it's imperative that I've got that understanding. We've got our desktop ticker, again, taking your eyes at the top of the video screen. You've got your views of the scorecards, right, that we focus on, and your out-of-the-box reports. Now, additionally from there is how do we create and customize reports, right? A big thing for our business analysts and our BI teams are, are what we refer to as metrics instant analyzers being able to create those custom views. When I link into my Metrics Instant Analyzer, it's going to allow me to see a set of categorized on the left-hand side, 
right, taking your eyes to the left-hand side, categorized report views that have been created by other individuals in my organization or by myself because you can publicly share your various report views. When I open up and select my center KPI month to date report, the view on the right hand side of the screen has now changed and now I'm looking at a dimensional grid that was created as a custom report. You have the ability to define your X and Y axis and then define what actual KPI or metric is displayed in the tabular view of the data along with the ability to embed charts and graphs. Now I'm summarizing this data by day of a week and then now I'm able to focus on where are my heavy volume days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc. This is for my entire organization because I'm looking at all of my teams. I can drill down here and then it can expand out and show me each of my individual teams and then I can even drill down deeper and open up a particular team to see how the individual agents are performing at this level. All of these custom report views you can extract out of the system and bring them out as Excel. And as you'll notice as I drill through this report view, if I take us all the way down to the bottom here, you can see that my charts have actually updated and now I can continue to spot my outliers for that particular KPI that I'm looking at. This is calls handled knowing that my customer service team A right, is handling a high volume of my interactions. Right, They're my primary team. So being able to create, build, customize your report views is critical for doing that performance management and understanding of that data. Now, you might think there are a lot of views, and there are, and that's all relevant in today's environment. Being able to bring in data from those multiple sources and present them on dashboards, age and desktop tickers like you're seeing at the top of the screen, the scorecard, right, and then also these custom report views of our metrics instant analyzer. Now, the foundation behind a lot of this is the ability for users to have that level of control. One of the things at VPI that we empower our users with is the ability to design and create these components on your own. Right? We want to give you that level of control and empower you with the tools that you need to be successful. As an example, you have a robust scorecard designer where I can create a brand new scorecard utilizing right, whatever metrics I see fit. I can easily, as a business user, without the involvement of IT, create a new scorecard view, selecting whatever metrics are relevant for my environment. Once I've got my scorecard created, I can view that in the scorecard view. Additionally, you have the ability to perform metric management or metric design. This, again, is another critical component. A lot of users want that level of control, so you have what we refer to as access to our metric designer, whereas you can build and create and customize your own KPIs. As an example, you can control your threshold definitions. You can build and create your own formulas for metrics, which is critical in a performance management environment. We give you that tool set, we train you on how to use it, and we empower you to make those changes. In addition to that, you also have custom ticker designers, being able to create and customize your own tickers with an out-of-the-box, easy-to-use wizard process where you can build these without the involvement of IT. We make it very simple to build, create, customize your tickers and being able to deploy those to the floor. You're going to gain tremendous value when you start to utilize these real-time visible components and the other feature right, sets that I've highlighted today. So at the end of the day, performance management is about breaking down the barriers. We want you to be able to utilize your tool set to provide that visibility. I'm going to give you a quick recap, and then we're going to look forward to talking to you some more in the future. At the very top of our screen, we see that agent desktop ticker. So take your eyes to the top of that video. That's a key component. You've also got dashboarding capabilities, scorecards that you can create, which is I'm showing you right now, along with a host of out-of-the-box reporting capabilities and custom report builders through our metrics and analyzers. We at VPI would love to spend some more time with you, taking you a little bit deeper into the overall product suite and hoping that we can consolidate your data, bring it into a unified platform, and give you the visibility and tools that you need to drive those organizational outcomes. Thank you very much, and we look forward to speaking with you soon.